Gentlemen in the middle there, friends, one of the finest singers ever to grace any kind of a stage you want to hear the man sing on. By the way, he is a Grammy Award winner with a guy by the name of John Fogarty. You might remember him with a little band he called, had CCR once upon a time. Well, that cat won a Grammy with him. He ran up and down the roads for many, many years with many great bands, from the Lonesome River Band, the J.D. Crow, the Bluegrass Cardinals, and Vern Gosden, and a whole bunch more. He's got an all-star band right here behind him, and he's a great big West Virginia welcome to my good friend, Don Rigsby, in the midnight call. <laughs> Sitting on the front porch The old dog is sleeping in the sun His master's old guitar is sitting silent Another earthly race has just been run Green Briar River So many times he's walked along your shore Sundown on the hill and above the town Uncle Ben played the 
feel the Lordy have a train, you can hear it talk, you can hear it sing.
tells me she's gone. That lonesome old song keeps on a playing and telling a story that makes me so blue. me she's gone festival last year and I called Tim in February of last year and said you know I, I'm not going to be able to make it because we got uh, a gig up in Canada and had to go up there and entertain the, the folks up in the great north and, uh, and I paid dearly for it because stupid me drove it. I drove all the way to New Brunswick, Canada by, by myself and it was uh, about 24 hours of wheel time so uh, I learned a big, a big old lesson there. But anyway, it's good to be with you all here close to home tonight. Let me introduce all the boys in the band here real quick. Uh, this is on the guitar, one of the finest musicians that I've ever had the chance to work with. He can sing all the parts. And he plays great fiddle and mandolin and guitar. And he, but he can't play the banjo. That's one thing that somebody else has got him on. Yeah, he's got a boy that can wear a five-string banjo out. But... Uh, this guy's one of my favorites, and I'm glad to work with him. His name is Chris Davis. Make him welcome. That's Danny Davis's boy, Chris. Thank you all. On the five-string banjo from Berea, Kentucky, he comes from banjo playing stock. His daddy was one of the finest banjo players uh, to ever put on a set of picks, and he played around here a lot on WTCR and different radio stations and played with uh, Ricky and Hobart Skaggs when Ricky was about this tall. But his dad was Elmer Burchett, and this is Elmer Burchett, Jr. Make him welcome on the banjo. And uh, head of security here on the bass. He's a fine bass player and a good man. And I'm telling you what, I, I love this guy and, and love to get to play music with him. He also plays with the Bing Brothers, who will be here tomorrow. And uh, we're big fans of this guy and, and consider him like family. Tim Corbett on the bass, folks.
Searching for fortune and fame I found where the water runs sweet from the hills They call it the Medicine Spring They call it the Medicine Spring It was there I met a fair maiden Yellow hair and big eyes were blue
to him, say something. He said, man, I've talked all day. You say something. <laughs> yeah, and when Tim gets done talking, there's usually trouble. <laughs> so we'll just... There you go. But not for him, it's for whoever he's talking to. So. It's that old black train 
Feeling a little Stanley Brothers kick this evening, so anybody got any objections to that? Now'd be a good time to go up the concession stand, I'd say. <laughs> Get you some deep fried grease or whatever they got. Do they have elephant ears or, or funnel cakes up there? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. I know what's coming right after I'm done. All right. Sugar coma. Look out. Here's an old one though. This is old. You got to shave it before you can play it. And it uh, Sit here alone on the banks of the river. The lonesome wind blows and the water rolls high. I hear the black like my next grind might just be in a hearse. Don't think I could have lasted more than a day or two. Specialist I knew Go see the mountain doctor Ralph Stanley is his name His clinch mountain music Will take away your pain His nurse is pretty poly His tonic mountain dew Go see the mountain doctor Anytime you've got the blue
freight train Take me farther on down the track I'm going away, I'm leaving today I'm going, but I ain't coming back His uh, more memorable performances at Renfro Valley, and he'd had some adult beverages prior to starting, and he said, "Here's a little tune called Fire on the Mountain," and the fiddle player kicks it off and plays it, and, and George walks up to the mic after it's done, you know, and he says, "We're gonna have it this time. Here's a little tune called Fire on the Mountain." <laughs> I kind of feel like that tonight. <coughs> we might play all night, but. Uh, well, all right. Yeah. We always like to do a gospel song or several on our shows, and uh, tonight's no exception. And we, we had a request for one.
tell you what I would do. for you now. He's going to sing you a song by Red Allen. And uh, it's, uh, it's a real good number. Red was the father of Harley Allen. If you heard a lot of songs that Harley Allen wrote, probably didn't even realize it. He wrote a ton of country hits like, uh, oh, let's see, the, the Little Girl for J uh, John Michael Montgomery. He wrote that, one of my favorites. And he wrote one for Alan Jackson, too. And uh, all kinds of great, great talent to record his songs. The baby. He wrote the baby for uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, wherever the host is of the voice, whatever his name is, I can't. Yeah, Blake Shelton. That's right. Thanks, Elmer. I'm having, having a Geritol moment there. I'm sorry. But anyway, his dad was a songwriter and singer in, uh, the, in the bluegrass tradition. I'm sure you know that. But uh, if you don't, he he worked for folks like. Uh, J.D. Crow and the Kentucky Mountain Boys and uh, and uh, the Osborne Brothers, you know, he made some of the most classic bluegrass recordings ever recorded with those guys, and he had his own band called the Kentuckians. Imagine that, since he was from Kentucky and all. But, I digress. Here's Chris with one of Red Allen's numbers, and it's called Helen. <laughs>
That's a good one. <laughs> Bo McCarty told us we have time for two more, and we've surplus. We've decided our, we, we've got time for a little more than that, if that's all right. We don't want to. I know Schultz Creek's coming up, but uh, I don't get to play around here too often, and certainly not these boys. So thank you. And I want to tell you, this is a great place for a festival and a wonderful festival. And next year, I want every one of you to go tell two people about it and make them come with you to this event. And don't tell any more than that because that'll be plenty. If we get, you know, that many more, Tim ain't going to want any more than that, are you? <laughs> All right. So uh, here's a little song that I wrote. And I just found out... Uh, fella cut this song on Pine Castle Records, so I expect a big royalty check to be rolling in for about $23 any day. Be, yeah, it'll be the second Tuesday of next week. July 37th. All right. She'll be there too. 